Wake up, it's a beautiful morning. And it sure is bright outside, but I am living for this weather at the moment. I am absolutely loving it. But welcome back to the channel. My name is Mickey T, or Mikey T, or whatever you want to call me. And this channel is all about documenting a week in my life. Covering everything from weight loss, to the journey to growing my gaming channel, and documenting all of the catnip shenanigans that goes on behind the scenes and just generally showcasing a journey of me trying to build my dreams and i want to invite you along in hopes of encouraging you to go and build yours so we're going to start off this morning by turning on the pc and i was going to say whilst it's booting up but it literally boots up in about five seconds now that we got a brand new spanking pc and i was supposed to say brand brand spanking new not brand new spanking pc it's like my pc just goes around spanking people where <laughs> but with a bowl of a porridge uh, with a little bit of squeezy honey so we don't have sugar we are kickstarting this week at 10 o'clock without actually going to work you might be thinking eh what make what you normally go to work why you why you not go to work on monday well uh, i've been fired <clears throat> nah, I'm only joking. I bet everybody watching this is like, yeah, Mike didn't didn't work, mate, didn't work. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't been fired. Uh, in fact, it's Dean's birthday, which basically gave me a free pass to take today off. Um, of course, I'm not actually taking today off. Uh, I'm going to be spending the day with Dean and hopefully Catherine uh, and going for lunch and doing other bits, but. Uh, we're not going round to see him and start the day until 11 o'clock. So I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down, have some lunch, wait for Ashley to get back and chill on the PC. But with breakfast demolished, we head out the house as I'm at my parents because it is Dean's or granddad's birthday. So yeah, Dean's opened his presents and he's now just filming a little uh, Instagram thing for all of his collectibles and stuff that he's got. And then I think we're planning on a, a trip out somewhere, I think. Oh, the view of Rosemary Toppins mint for me. Yeah, I've seen that over there. <laughs> but yeah, we came to uh, Windlebridge Garden Nursery and Tea Rooms for a nice cup of tea. <laughs> Oh, oh, they're not blue though. Yeah? They're not blue. No, they're not blue hydrangeas. The white ones, but they're a different type. They're like small ones. They're lime white or nickelodeon. Well, I'm going to go and enjoy a little bit of time. These are going to take some photographs, so I'm going to take in the bloody nice weather. <laughs> and it is the end of the day. Unfortunately, I've sort of had to pick and choose what to film today. Um, as it has been Dean's birthday and it was supposed to be just a family day and so I tried to film as much as I could but respecting the fact that it was you know wanting to celebrate Dean's birthday because normally I am fully like open and honest and I do want to bring you guys along with the journey but unfortunately it is what it is so I'll see you guys tomorrow where we are going to be working at Catnip Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday this week. Oi! Uh, I thought Oreo was getting out then. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. And good morning and hello world. Yes, we are back in the Catnip studio. As I mentioned yesterday, it is now time to get to work. So, first things first, turn on the lights. Let there be light. Shake Inky McInkerson's. Second one done. And it's time to get the Mac on as we need to start making up orders because I am going to the gym tomorrow. But just look at all of these orders that Dean and Catherine managed to get done over the weekend. That is absolutely insane. Yes, Dean and Catherine worked all weekend to get the orders down to zero. However, <laughs> well then. Yep, that's 44 orders. That's after Dean and Catherine got it down to zero. So that's pretty insane. You guys just, especially the Catherine community, just absolutely the most supportive people in the world. And I have learned so much from working at Catnip, you know, about spreading happiness and, you know, talking to people and just, it's it's been an, uh, an amazing journey. And uh, I can't wait to see where Catnip goes in the future with or without me here. I just can't wait to see what, what, what happens with Catnip. But I'm gonna go ahead 
and get to work printing out and making up all the orders because at around about quarter to 11, I actually have to go to the gym again. But I've got some exciting news to share with you whilst I'm, and I'm going to share it with you whilst I'm walking to the gym because it's a bit of a ramble. So I'll, I'll forewarn you now to just prepare yourself. But it's an exciting news that I think we can all celebrate together. Well, that's all of the orders printed. There wasn't actually as many as I thought there'd be, given that there's like almost 50 orders on. I actually imagined that we'd have maybe a couple of pin banners and a few other bits. But in all honesty, it's just a mug, a couple of mouse mats and a few art prints to print off uh, and cut out. Because obviously the F we can't print in A5, so we have to print them on A4 and cut them. Uh, so yeah, other than that, it's just getting on with it. It's also worth mentioning as well that the PT has messaged me and my gym session is at quarter to 12. So I have to set off at half 11 today to go to the gym. Um, but I think moving forward, I am going to start like doing this. If I'm actually at the gym and I need to work on a Tuesday or a Thursday, I'm still going to go to the gym. I really want to keep up that momentum of going to the gym and sticking at it and I also think I'm going to have a sit down and have a realistic think about what my goals are for weight loss. So I can say this is my like initial first goal and this is what I'm going to strive for. And then that's when I'll consider like where we sit down as a community and as an individual and I reflect on where I'm at and I look at how I feel and how I am. And then we see if we want to go further or if we then just look at shifting into maintaining that so let's get to work <laughs> and i've come over to the packing station as i now have 45 minutes before i have to head to the gym so let's see if we can add to that pile and i've had to slip away quietly because dean is currently on the phone to the accountant but let's go ahead and get to the gym Oh, not gonna lie, my legs are uh, a bit jelly at the moment. I'm walking all over the place like a drunk idiot again, but we need to get back to the office. And I am back at the hub, ready to get back to work. Well, actually, we need to shower first. But I had a bit of an embarrassing tumble on the way back. I literally went to walk past an old lady and an old man that were walking together and a lovely old couple. And my legs just gave away and I almost fell over right next to the lady. And we had a good laugh about it, but my God, did it hurt my pride. <laughs> Bloody egg butt. Oh. We're trying to work here. Someone actually mentioned that I should do egg butt, like as part of like a product collection. I need to do that, don't I? Yeah, you, that'd be, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I have no idea if you can actually see my head, but just whilst I'm packaging this order, I am jumping back on to getting to work now. But I just wanted to quickly explain, just for a bit of context, that I am wearing the same shirt that I wore yesterday because my intention was to go to the gym, have a shower, and then get changed. As I did bring my gym bag with a change of clothes and a towel and everything to have a shower at the hub. But... It's that warm today and I'm going to be that busy with orders that I thought I'm just going to get hot and sweaty again. I might as well just stay a bit sweaty and then just have a shower as soon as we get in. Made sense to me. Judge me if you want. But then it is what it is. So let's get to work. Quick pit stop to just round the corners. Well, we've just took the post down and I wanted to showcase this little dude. Came in on one of the... Uh, Postal orders, he's like, I think he's like some sort of cricket, I think. Um, he's definitely a bit of a creepy crawly. I definitely think he's a cricket, but he keeps hopping all over the place. And by cricket, I mean probably more a grasshopper. I think crickets are a bit more green and have longer antenna. Um, so I think he's a little grasshopper, which would be indicated by the fact that he was hopping around a second ago. Uh, but I don't know what to do with him because, right, well, there's no grass around here, so I don't really know where to go and put him, to be honest. And I really don't know what else to do other than to kind of just leave this laying up against here and hope that he finds his way out into the big wide world. There he is. Go on, be free, little one. Go to your new home. Going down. But I really hope 
Gerard don't care. Floor zero. Gerard the grasshopper, that's what I'm calling. I hope he finds a new home. I hope he's happy. Well, I'm home and unfortunately, no, I didn't walk home today. And I know I am a little bit disappointed in myself, but I'm not kicking myself too much because at the end of the day, I have been to the gym today. So it's not like I've just gone to work and then decided to be lazy and then walk home. I've literally been at work um, and done a workout. So then I got Ashley to drop me off. And if you're wondering why the door is open, is because Oreo did a number two that honestly smelled so bad, uh, I had to open the door because I was gagging. It was honestly, I, I don't even want to describe it to you, but it was, I don't do well with smells anyway. Like I'm, I'm really sensitive to smells, but that was a especially a stinky poo. Uh, <laughs> so I've got the door open, I've got the kitchen door closed so Oreo doesn't get out. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a shower, I think, because I obviously have still got the same clothes on that I wore yesterday, don't judge me. Um, because I was originally just supposed to be going to the gym, having a shower, then getting changed and getting uh, showered at the hook, but that didn't happen because I thought, well, it's really hot, I'm gonna be walking home and I'm just gonna get sweaty, 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 so I might as well wait until I get home uh, to have a shower. Uh, so now I'm home, I think uh, I'm gonna have a shower. Well. I have some explaining to do. Well, time to get to work. Hoi. And I've come over to the window before I do anything else because I wanted to see if little Gerard was here, but unfortunately, he hath left us and flown the nest. Uh, so long live Gerard. I hope he's happy wherever he is. Um, uh, yeah, I, I wish I could have done taken him to somewhere proper, like a field or a piece of woodland, but... Honestly, there's just nowhere around here, and I had no way of like transporting him. So, unfortunately, I had to just hope that he makes it in life out in the big city. But let's go ahead and get the ink shook. Yeah. And with that done, we can then turn on the Mac. So, whilst we wait for Chrome open and for everything to boot up, I just wanted to quickly apologise for the slight time jump. I didn't really finish today off yesterday. I just got sidetracked after getting out of the shower. We ended up going on an absolute mad one, just like trying to clean the house and throw a bunch of stuff out and just try and get organised in the kitchen. And we got loads of stuff done in the bathroom. And I'll showcase that a little bit later on if I remember. But yeah, I basically ended up having some uh, chicken fajita, like some chicken on a plate with sort of like onions and peppers in it. Uh, topped with a bit of cheese and homemade guac and a tiny bit of sour cream for my tea. So hopefully all is good in the world. But today we're getting to work on the catnip stuff because it is Wednesday. And um, I don't know if I, I, I think I'm doing a full day, but it's interesting because because I was in yesterday, I don't think there's going to be enough orders for a full day. So I think you might get to see a little bit more behind the scenes in terms of like the actual other stuff that I can do at Catnip, um, which is at the moment trying to sort out the wholesale stuff. So that'll be interesting to see. Oh, I just missed the fire alarm. Like it literally, the test was like literally like three beeps or something. I couldn't even do my fire alarm dance. Oh, this week's vlog is ruined. Ah, oh, my heart. Well, there's only 10 orders, and out of those 10, there was only one that needs making up, and it is a pink heart mouse mat. So, uh, did I turn this on? Yes, I've turned the heat press on. So, I just need to wait for the heat press to heat up, make up the mouse mat, and then we can get to work on doing the 10 orders. And there's also the post to do, which I think Dean is probably going to ask me to do, um, which... Fun fact, I don't like doing the post, and it's the only reason why I don't like doing it isn't because I'm lazy or because I don't want to do it. It's actually because the way my brain works, the system is so slow, and the click and drop system is so slow that it actually, the, the equivalent that I can explain it to, right, is, you know when you're walking down a street or you're walking down a corridor and you're walking behind somebody that's just like, just like dawdling along like this and you're like you're like right up behind them and you're trying to like get you know that feeling when you're like trying to get past them and you just like move <laughs> that's what it feels like in my brain to do the post um so yeah i don't like doing the post so i'll normally avoid it when i can or i'll normally ask ashley to come and do it for me occasionally um when dean and Catherine aren't in 
um, because it just means she can kind of just sit there and just process it and then I can put the labels on and put it in bags. Um, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Do you know what as well? I'm just waiting for the heat press and I've lowered my voice of, uh, an octave because I'm just stood near the window just listening to the world. There's birds tweeting, there's the occasional clang of, you know, people throwing bins out and stuff, but <sighs> there's something just so calming about the mornings in Catnip. You know, the building's not busy, people aren't in a rush. The world is just waking up and it's such a great feeling like especially when i'm like feel half dead <laughs> it just it feels so nice sometimes to just be able to just stand and just listen to like the seagulls and the birds but we've got to get on with work and with the heat press ready we can go ahead and make up this mouse map but i just wanted to quickly report as as i was stood there kind of waiting admittedly on my phone um, I was just checking the vlog account um, and the first non-catnip branded vlog has just hit a thousand views. The vlog where I gained five pound at the end of the week. But it is what it is I suppose. So let's get the phone on the tripod and let's get time lapsing doing these ten orders because we need to get them out the way. Well, that's all the orders done. The only issue is, is I need uh, an ID 004. We've all run out of the ID 4 stickers. There's none in the... Uh... We're on the way. Getting delivered tomorrow. We're getting delivered tomorrow. Right, well, I'm just going to run and just quickly grab something from the shop because I'm starving. So I'll be back in a second. Because I do want to stress that... It is only half eleven, but I, I brushed my teeth this morning, but for some reason it still feels like there's a film on them and it just, ugh, it's driving me absolutely insane, so I'm going to go to the shop. Also, any excuse to get out in the nice weather, hey, 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 hey. Oh, that feels so much better. Well, I've finished my dinner and I thought I'd just document the fact that I'm now working on importing all of the products into Fair, which is a wholesale website so that other stores and shops and things can browse all of the catnip goods and buy bulk amounts for a reduced price which we offer to any like anyone if you drop catnip an email then we can offer discounts but this is for like official shops that are going to be ordering hopefully fingers crossed if we get some orders down the line in the future we'll be 500 a thousand of eat of like certain products where we can you know make them all up and get them shipped off and it's just a great way for us to expand catnip and kind of push it out into different markets and further afield and into different areas and different niches that can utilize the cute catnip adorableness um so i'm currently just waiting for all the new blue hydrangea range to impart at the moment and then uh, I need to go through and optimize all the listings, check all the prices, delete all of the old pins and stuff that we don't sell anymore. And well, I've finished putting everything on fair, so now I'm moving over to basically making up some mystery pin bags that we're going to be selling. And the whole point is that we're putting them into these bags, and then we'll put them in a box, shake them all up, so we know we won't know which pin is which. And then people can buy them and be surprised by the results. Just need to get some spare bags. Do, 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 do. Bags are gotten. Then it's just a case of making sure they're not listed on the website. Well, <laughs> I am home and I didn't document any of the journey uh, as to finishing up at work or getting home. And I've been home for about 10 minutes now. Um, I had to walk home and can I just say that... If you are going to go to the gym and you haven't ever trained legs or you've taken a break from the gym for a couple of weeks and you go back to training legs, maybe don't bloody walk home the day after because my legs are burning. I feel like I've walked up a mountain. Oh, Jesus. I feel like I've walked home like I've pooed myself. But I'm going to go ahead and jump on the PC and try and get started on some of the gaming content because, admittedly, I'm a bit behind. So let's go ahead and turn on the bad boy. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and cook some eggs. Uh, I'm probably gonna have like an omelet or maybe just some scrambled egg or something for tea. 
Um, dinner was like, yeah, it was kind of filling, um, but I'm, I'm getting a bit hungry. It's now actually like nearly 7 p.m. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the day there. Uh, Ashley is still out, obviously. Uh, no, nothing new there. Uh, so there's not really much to report on. I haven't been productive. I'm quite tired. My legs hurt. I'm scared. I want to go home. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, little dude. Hey, yeah, good morning. <laughs> How's little Oreo potato dear? Mmm, yeah. Well, we're gonna need these. And yep, if you can't tell already, I am a fan of putting on yesterday's clothes. However, it's not because I'm being lazy, it's because we are off to the gym. Because we need to get our workout done today before we come home and then work on starting the next episode of the gaming content. Because I actually haven't filmed anything for the gaming channel in like a week and a half and the video is already almost two weeks late so <laughs> uh, yeah we've got a lot of work to do uh, we're not going to get the whole video done today but we are going to try and make a considerable start and make some progress towards the next episode because i would like to try and see if we can get an episode out on sunday but i don't know if it's going to happen because again i have a lot of family events on such as my grandma's birthday on sunday so <sighs> It's a hard life being part-time working somewhere and trying to grow a YouTube channel that all you want to do is dedicate all your time to, but yeah, balancing life is so hard. Now, I don't actually really be have uh, So I don't really have time to be doing this, but I have gone ahead and just organized like the whole fridge and just tried to neaten it up because it was looking real messy, so... Uh, yeah, that's the fridge done. Now I need to go ahead and get my shoes on. And I'm back from the gym. Yes, I didn't film anything in this session. Um, I am going to start getting better at filming. It's just, I just, I don't want to overload the vlogs with gym content. But then I also want to document the progress and stuff that we make. So I probably will try my best to try and include both days sessions in the vlogs in the future. But... The goal now is to have some lunch. I think I'm going to have some scrambled egg and a protein shake. Then we're going to have a quick shower, get ready, and then we're going to get to work on the gaming content. But I'll talk to you about that when we're done. So I'll grab one of you, you on the hob, you in the sink, and I promise I'm going to wash them. And one slightly unappealing looking uh, fried egg later. And it has actually been a couple of hours since... Uh, no, it hasn't. It's been about... 20 minutes what am i talking about <laughs> so it's been about 20 minutes half an hour since the last clip now unfortunately i did end up throwing the eggs away as they tasted well one of them tasted sour but i don't know if it was just like a bit of water that was in the bottom of the bowl that had like soap in it or something but i wasn't messing around with dodgy eggs so i threw them away and ended up eating some rice cakes i got the dishes done um so yes uh, you can stop judging me for leaving dirty dishes everywhere, even though I know most of you probably weren't judging, but I know probably was somebody out there judging, so it is what it is. And I wanted to also say that we had a package come in the form of a wedding and engagement ring. Now, don't worry if you're watching this and you think, oh my God, it's my good engagement. I'm already married. I'm already married. I've been married for three years. Uh, we agreed that we were going to get a new matching wedding rings when I've hit my my sort of goal weight. But unfortunately, until I get there, um, I'm not wearing any wedding ring on my finger. And Ashley's ring um, is upstairs and she just didn't like not wearing a ring. So I went ahead and bought a cheap engagement and wedding ring set. And she's normally a dainty person, but this time she went for this kind of like sort of larger stone and a sort of ring to sort of match it she never used to like big bulky things she was always kind of a dainty girl but i said when she was trying on rings the other day with her mum i said please just try them on just humor me and try on a ring that you wouldn't normally like and she tried on one of the bulky ones lo and behold i was right she loved it and now she's bought one so she knows she's getting it. Don't worry. It's not like a surprise or anything. She was the one that bought it. I just gave her the money for it. Um, but I'm going to surprise her with it because I don't know if she knows that it's come yet. Um, so as soon as she gets home, I'm going to run downstairs and do this whole over-the-top cringy fake proposal thing. 
uh, just because that's the type of guy I am and I like living life on the edge and just being a bit over the top and a bit soppy and it ain't nothing you're going to do about it. But let's go ahead and get upstairs because we've got some work to be done. But not before saying hello to this dude. Hey, yeah. Hey, little one. Who's a little cutie patootie? Who's a little cutie footy patootie? <laughs> Because I don't think I've actually fully explained on this channel kind of what the gaming channel is about. But basically, long story short, I have a Minecraft channel on YouTube where I basically make a Let's Play series of me rebuilding my own version of the Lord of the Rings in Minecraft. So I'm basically making my own version of Middle Earth. And, you know, so I'm starting off by doing a huge sort of dwarven build based off of Moria, if you've ever seen the films. If you haven't, go watch them, because they're the best films you'll ever watch in your entire life. But they are, like, basically just... Like, I started it off as a joke. Um, I literally uploaded one episode um, almost a year ago, saying it was basically just episode one, and I was like, ah, I'll just I'll do it for a laugh, and it, I'll probably get bored after a couple of weeks, and then I'll just move on to something else and just figure out what I want to do. Um, because I didn't really know what I wanted to do on the gaming channel and I uploaded that and the first video ended up taking off and hitting like, I think it hit like 20,000 views within a week and I was like, right, <laughs> looks like we're committed to this uh, and I've been basically keeping it up ever since uh, in the hardcore game mode. So if I die, I do lose the world and I did die once near Christmas so I had to start again. Um, but yeah, almost 10,000 subscribers were on 9,300 as I'm recording this video. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work recording some more for the next episode. So I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. <laughs> I've actually only been recording for a couple of minutes, but Ashley's literally just got home. So I'm going to go downstairs and surprise her with the rings. But I think she might be on to me because she did message me saying, have my rings come with a heart face emoji? And I was like, no, why? A little bit dodgy. Not really sure I'd recommend doing that to your partner, but I, I'm hoping she hasn't caught on. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the camera and see if I can do a cheeky little, cheesy little thing. Oh, they did come. <laughs> I think you caught on. I was hoping you wouldn't catch on. I'll get the right hand this time. Yeah, <laughs> put it over my uh, finger. <laughs> that is actually quite beautiful. Well, I got a message, a text saying my... Uh, Aha! <laughs> oh, did you record it? I recorded oh, for it! God's sake. Go on then, show us your nice new dainty ring. We don't know if she's got it on the right way, but she, by the time you watch this, we'll have figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, she said yes! Hey! <laughs> I love you. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I think it beat you picked it. I just paid for the damn thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I should probably go back to work now and get some video stuff done. All right, turns out she did have it on the right way, according to Google, so we'll take it. Anyway, we shut the door as we come back to our PC where the game is paused. So I'm going to go ahead and continue what we were doing on the mission to get this video started. Now, it's probably going to be another two or three not weeks from this point, I meant from the last video we uploaded, because um, the gaps are getting a bit bigger, and it is stressing me out quite a bit, just uh, the how much of a gap I've got between each video, because I am somebody that likes to keep the videos coming out every week. However, I have got this vlog channel, and that's kind of taken the sort of... It's not taken any, like sort of focus away from the gaming channel because like at the end of the day the whole point of this vlogging channel was to be um candid and just off the cuff and just raw and natural and it wasn't supposed to be you know setting up tripods and you know i like i i love this the aesthetic vlogs i really do but they're just so time consuming and they really are a full-time commitment and these vlogs are i'm wanting to be as in-depth and as personable as possible but whilst sort of minimum effort maximum satisfaction sort of 
vibes. And that about does it for the gaming stuff. It is actually very warm in there. Um, it gets very warm with the sun at the back of the house. But if I just head in here, we are far from over in our working day because we have some saddles that I want to go ahead and get cleaned and get photographed. And we also need to go and do a food shop at Aldi because uh, there's nothing in the fridge at all. And I've been mourning all day that there's nothing to snack on. Um, I like to have like the occasional healthy snack, but there's just nothing in the house. So uh, as soon as Ashley gets home, that's what we're gonna go and do. I'm just trying to think if there's anything I can kind of fill my time with whilst I wait, but... Oh, and this is what I call a good way to relax. So, well, I'll see you in 20, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, uh, she came home. That means I need to move now. Well, that was a fun 15 minutes. So we are in the saddle room as this was one of the things we needed to get done today. And I'm going to go ahead and time lapse most of this. Um, but as you can see over there, we've got um, these are all the saddles that have been photographed, I believe, and are currently on the website for sale. But we've got a bunch that need cleaning and photographing and listing. And the listing stuff Ashley does when she's in bed um, on a phone because she can list them on our website and stuff uh, from a phone. Um, but Ashley will take the photographs, but I have to do all the heavy lifting, which after arm day, probably should have thought this one through. But let's go ahead, get this time lapse and see if we can get this done. Well, <laughs> 40 minutes later and an absolute drip on. Uh, I've managed to, well, sorry, I, we have managed to get the saddles uh, down to, there's only one that needed cleaning um, with better tools um, and it's too warm and we couldn't be bothered to get them all out. Um, but yeah, teamwork makes our little dream work. Yeah, now we need to go shopping. Hey. So we're heading out the house into an absolute jungle. I need to get on top of cutting this grass. I have not been keeping up with my man the duties. I wish I didn't stop recording there. Ashley just said, <laughs> as I stopped recording, cue the I'm a celebrity, get me out of here soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, I really should get on top of it. It's just, it's one of those things where you don't notice how long it gets until it absolutely starts tickling your nose. Anyway, let's get to the shop. Oh, trolley, Aldi. And they're just in Aldi, and this range is like pasta, but not quite pasta, so healthy win. I was also talking about these the other day with somebody on Instagram. I absolutely love green jalapenos, but they set my IBS off and I just cannot eat them anymore. Um, and it's like so sad because I love them so much. Well, £65 later, we are home and we need to get the shopping away before we chill, eat some food, watch a couple of vlogs that we would like to watch, such as The Life of Tom, then chill and go to bed. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last day of the week and for our next weigh-in. Uh, as uh, I like to remind everybody occasionally, this is about documenting my weight loss journey and I don't know how I feel about this week, but I have tried my best. So we can only cross our fingers and hope that we've lost a little bit more fat and gained a little bit more muscle. Well, I'm still half asleep, but it's that time again. Yeah, it's time to get naked. Well, take my top off and see what we're weighing in at. And to be completely honest, I've done well this week, or I think I've done well, but my body just doesn't feel like I've done well. Like, I feel all bloated and puffy and, like, I'm, I'm, I'm beating myself up a bit, but I might surprise myself. But basically what I do is I step on the scales, get a measurement, and then I move it, and then I measure myself again, just to double check, just to make sure that um, the scales are reading accurately. So, I'll see you in a second with either good news or not so good news.
I uh, don't even have the happiness in me to even do a nice entrance into the catnip studio this morning. Uh, <laughs> but the real question, as I shake the ink, is do I feel Lilo from Lilo and Stitch and just say, leave me here to die? Or am I sadness from Inside Out? That is the question. Get in, it won't go in. Okay, so I am half kidding. I'm not that upset about it, but uh, it is what it is. What it is. Unfortunately, we wear exactly the same as we did last week. We haven't gained, we haven't lost, we are exactly the same. However, some people might look at this a bit differently because some people may look at it and say, well, Mike, you may have lost a pound of fat, but then you may have also gained a pound of muscle. Because I need to remind everybody that obviously this is the first time this week that I've done um, like the legs and the core workout in almost a month. Because the previous week was two arm days and then the two previous weeks before that um, I only had one gym session each week. So uh, we never really had a full session like we did um this week with legs and the legs is kind of like my legs and my core because i do deadlifts and everything um and that's the one that really gets my blood pumping um out of all of them um so yeah it is what it is and unfortunately uh there's nothing i can do sorry i'm just typing in the uh the password just to turn on the mac so yeah we're back in the catnip office and we just have to get to work and we just have to knuckle down and try our best because as of right now uh friday we now have four full weeks before we go on holiday so we've got a month and i really want to try and get down into the next stone bracket however in order to successfully achieve that Every week, from here on out, I need to lose three pounds of fat every week. And I'm not going to do anything extreme with a diet, but I think for the next four weeks, I'm going to challenge myself to make sure that I walk home from work every day. Starting from next week, of course. Um, which I know I've been doing that anyway, but then I'm also going to try and do one or two more extracurricular activities um outside of the gym so i'm gonna try and get out and maybe do some sort of even if it's just a walk just get out and go and do something whether it's walking skateboarding um i don't know maybe go play badminton um and i'm gonna try and do that once or twice every week to try and get the activity up but keep the calories relatively the same but i am gonna have to knuckle down because at the moment i think weekends are my weakest spot because i'm kind of like i'm, I'm treating it too carelessly and i think that's the problem but anyway i've waffled on too much so let's get on with our working day and our final day of, of the week at catnip well that's everything printed off and to be honest it's mostly just mouse mats that we've uh, printed off today uh, so it shouldn't be too easy, uh, it shouldn't be too easy, it shouldn't be too hard, sorry, is what I was trying to say. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn on the heat press and wait for that to heat up. Then we also need a pink mug, because uh, we've only got one pink mug and then we've got one large mug to wear, uh, make up. Well, that's uh, these mouse mats done and I've just walked over here because I did remember the other day that... Uh, Dean did leave some of the new blue hydrangea mouse mats over here and we've had a heart one sold in one of the orders but I didn't print it off because I was saying to myself oh we've got some blue hydrangea mouse mats over here and I thought one of them was a heart shaped one but it turns out it isn't so I'm gonna have to run back over here and make that up very quickly but the mugs are also done so we can forget about them so let's get the heart one done then we can jump onto the orders. I just thought it'd be cool to document this. Now, there's no names on screen, but just in case you wanted to know what a £300 order at catnip looks like, it's this plus the mug that Dean's making up over there. Um, it's three mouse mats. Uh, this has got, like, 
probably about 100 pounds worth of stickers in it just on its own and then uh, a few of the planners and some pins and i'm just about finished packaging it all up and it's taken me about 25 minutes uh to get all of this stuff together and package it um because as it says on the tin it really was packaged with a bit of love so i'm gonna get this done so i can go for my lunch because i'm bloody starving in which the order is so big we might actually have to send it in two separate parcels i'm just waiting for this and then we pop this on here and the survey says 3,010. Is that too heavy? Poop. Right, I'm gonna have to do some jiggery pokery here, try and sort this out. So we ended up splitting the order into two different boxes. So we sent the mug and the mouse mats in one and the flat stuff in a pit box. So we'll take a bit of a hit, but it's the best thing we can do as Royal Mail doesn't allow anything over two kilograms, unfortunately, so it is what it is. But let's go and get ourselves some dinner. Going down. Well, that's my lunch devoured so I can get back to work, but I don't think anything will ever get me used to the gloop that you face when you get to the bottom of a U-fit protein shake. When you get to the bottom, if you don't shake it, no matter how much you shake it when it's full, you get to the bottom and there's always like a gloop of like, protein powdery stodginess that just uh. so Catherine's drawing a little catnip illustration that says i love dean forever and i put well same <laughs> <laughs> and i did an illustration of me holding my little phone camera <laughs> well the time is four or three so we should probably get the post downstairs or eat hey. in which the post has actually been taken downstairs already but I came back up to just wait a second, but I'm heading back down because there's a surprise guest waiting for me. I mean, it's not really a surprise at this point, but... It's the wife. <laughs> and Ashley has come in because it is now the end of the day and it's a glorious day. So we are going for date night, which we make, to, we make sure to have every Friday or Saturday um because as the i'm trying to grow my gaming channel i spend a lot of nights either gaming or working on the channel so tonight is and we're going to see <laughs> and then drinks wow Drink. it's a lot of d's isn't it? <laughs> hey oh careful <laughs> speaking of a lot of d's big d's in the house <laughs> um mm -hmm. so yeah we're basically uh, going to go watch uh, Deadpool versus Wolverine in the local cinema, which is just a two minute walk down the road. Um, but yeah, fun little fact, Ashley and I have never actually been to a movie with just the two of us. Just um, the two of us. It's literally the first time, 10 years we've been together, three years we've been married. It's the first time in our entire relationship that we're actually going for a film with just the two of us. Um, it's just purely because we just tend to go with other people. Like whenever we go for, um, like whenever there's a film on that we want to see, we always invite other people because we just like doing things with other people. But yeah, just the two of us tonight. But hot tamales is looking good. <laughs> but yeah, let's, let's go. In which for context, you can see the hub over there and the region is there. <laughs> Literally two minute walk. And we didn't book seats either, by the way. We literally were just like, eh, we'll just turn up, see if there's seats. And we've just looked online. And there is seats available, but it is quite busy. <laughs> Doesn't look very busy, though. Oh, yeah. Well, we're in. With a, we just got a drink. I didn't get any snacks, so... Well, nice little slushy. I went a bit quiet when I did that. <laughs> but I'll see you after the film, because I've got to put me forward away. That is a view and a half. What the hell? Oh uh, yeah, there's people sat on out there. Uh, mm. But yeah, what did you think of the film? Oh, <laughs> it was it was very funny, and it was also very. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say seven out of ten. Seven. Yeah, but we're gonna go and get a drink. Cheers. Well, the morning is glorious, 
as it is indeed a lovely Saturday and it's also a lovely day to thank each and every one of you from Ashley and myself for watching these videos. Seriously, we cannot thank you enough. It has been a genuine, sincere dream of mine to be a YouTuber or to be a content creator for half my life at this point. But we've faced a lot of lows and we've also faced a lot of highs in that journey. But unfortunately, it wasn't until this year that fate decided that it was my time. And so I am committing everything I can to making this dream happen. And I'm bringing you guys along with me in all of the highs and all of the lows. And considering last year was the genuine most like lowest part of my life in both my physical health and my mental health, we decided to come into this year, turn it around, and I'm taking you guys on the journey with me through all of the highs and lows. I'll document them as raw as I can. But you guys have been absolutely loving the vlogs. And just to update your faces on the progress of getting monetization back on the channel, I can indeed report that we have hit the first level of monetization on the channel, which means we've unlocked channel members. So you guys can subscribe, a bit like Patreon, but... I haven't activated that yet because I don't know if I want to. Um, if you guys want to like support me financially in a Patreon format, uh, let me know in the comments. But unless somebody actually requests it, I won't be turning it on because I don't want people's money in order to make this dream happen. The AdSense is fine and I'm not really sure about sponsorships yet either, but... Um, I, I I just, that's a whole different video, but I just wanted to say that we are now closing in on the final goal, which is to hit the second level, which will give us the AdSense. Now, if you're new to the channel, I am not somebody that's just trying to get money, 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 and just trying to think about ways to make money. I'm doing it so that I can put all of the money that we make on this vlog channel. Yes, some of it will be used um, to fully disclose it. It will be used to help, you know, pay the bills and stuff. But I am the sort of person that likes to reinvest the money. And I want to reinvest it into the channel. I want to go on more adventures. I want to push myself out the comfort zone. I want to do things that I've never done before and document it all for your faces. And it's you guys that are genuinely making that happen. So thank you so, so much. But I'm going to go ahead and leave the vlog there. So see you in next week's vlog as we start to ramp things up for the upcoming holiday as we only have four weeks to transform this body into a sexy David Hasselhoff beach body. So let's get on it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.